7th. Uh, I am uh, currently at the hotel. It's a little bit after 12 o'clock. I don't know if this is a good view or not. Alright. Uh, adjusted yesterday. My plan was actually to stay up, uh, but since I had like an hour's sleep on the way here on a 15 hour journey, I actually did take an hour and a half nap last night or yesterday afternoon. Um, set up my alarm, alarm it off, and it was a fight to get up, which was my concern. Uh, but I got up, took a shower, got over to the venue, watched the beginning of the 83 kilo class. Unbelievable Norwegian. The guy looks, uh, can't pronounce his name. <laughs> Facebook friends with him. I'll, 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 I'll uh, put the video up after. Incredible lifting by a Norwegian who won the world world championships at 83 kilos. Uh, really neat look, neat neat guy. And uh, I actually was able to talk to him before Worlds via Facebook. And uh, just he's got like the build of Ed Cohen kind of at an 83 kilo class. Young too. Uh, the Norwegians are coming out uh, Wednesday night. It was pretty busy in the venue, so I was quite impressed. They're talking about some uh, major numbers. Busloads of people coming Friday and Saturday, so I'm very excited. Uh, today we got two American men and two American female lifting. Uh, I'm gonna try to get some footage of it, uh, and I'll I'll try to put it out there. Uh, but uh, some really good lifting today. Uh, we're getting into the heavier classes, and uh, the Amer no none of the uh, men are expected to to really go for the you know top medals. Um, but, uh, we, you know, that's why we lift. We got to, there, there might be some surprises. Who knows? We'll see what today brings. Uh, um, so we'll see. And Leanne Blind is lifting. I'm probably killing her name. I apologize. Uh, so getting dressed, kind of chilling out. Breakfast here is incredible. Uh, I did do a view and I'll put it, the video earlier was, or after this, I don't know where I'm going to edit it through was the view from the breakfast, the restaurant, at the, that was like the 21st floor of the hotel, uh, just overlooking uh, the, the city here. So it was beautiful, and the breakfast is included with the, with the cost of the hotel. A lot of things aren't. <laughs> uh, so you get uh, some things are included and some things are not, and the price here is pretty expensive. So uh, one, one thing I'm doing right now is I'm actually taking my medicine, with my protein, um, I just do the uh, packed a container of uh, essentially whey. Um, so try to get a couple scoops in. I am. Uh, I was talking about um, when I'm in a pinch for food or I just want to get some extra calories. I'm using MREs, military MREs, to eat. Uh, it'd be a little more affordable. Uh, there's some stuff on Facebook about whether it's really the healthiest thing to do. Uh, I, it's not like I'm living off of it. I am eating very good breakfast. Um, kind of looking at the MREs as a midday snack, kind of, uh, and then eating dinner at night. Uh, and then I'm taking meds for my uh, tart cherry for my gout, so different things like that. So it helps me feel normal um, and kind of be able to, you know, eat normal, feel normal. I feel kind of lazy. Um, I do have four kids, nine and under, so my wife and thankfully my mother-in-law are there taking care of the kids at home. Um, um, so it's it's a little weird uh, being a dad uh, is an everyday thing and uh, having a little bit of a break is nice, but uh, I know my wife has had to pick up the slack at home, so hi honey. <laughs> I, I'm thankful for the support I have from my family because um, they're there to, to help me, help motivate me, and also help me when, you know, I have to go on a trip like this. I, last year I was able to fly to Puerto Rico with a, a day before the meet with the time change here and the risk of missing a flight. I just couldn't cut it that close this year. So, all right, I'll put some other video out there. Uh, I think I'm going to go get some groceries, get some basics, and then go over and watch the, uh, the guys compete in the, this evening, I think the females compete. I forget the, the exact schedule of it, but I'll get some footage and put it out there. I'll talk to you guys again. Take care. Heading to the grocery store. Uh, that's the hotel we're staying at. It's a pretty cool thing. You know, I've always seen the circles that circle uh, highways 
And we're starting to get some of them actually in, in our area in Pennsylvania. But actually a really neat thing here is they actually have a circle walkway with, which fans off just like the roadways do. So you can walk around, around the circle just above the highway, just above the intersection to allow you a walkway over top of the roadway. It's pretty neat. The place is the grocery store. Just got done. I think this is the university. I don't know the exact name of the university, but... And cars drive right up to the sidewalk. Kiwi Mini. Quite a bit little... It's a little place, but it's got a lot of stuff in it. Got some good stuff to snack on. Food. Can't even see the venue from where I'm at. Kind of just walked, walked, and walked some more. And, uh... These look like, uh... Dorms. To me and there was classrooms I passed a bunch of classrooms so it looks like I'm just off of a university or on a university right now lots of bikes reminds me of Penn State most folks are getting around with bikes but I'm guessing that's more ooh that's a bad bend look at that that's a bad day home so I'm gonna walk back to the hotel walk back to the hotel uh, there is a little fridge in the hotel so I'm gonna put the food I need to put on and uh, maybe I'll show you what I got. Um, it's good to get fresh food. I had grapes, bananas, got some baked goods that are, uh, you know, it's good to get some local stuff, you know, try something different. Um, it was uh, a little different, uh, not knowing what things were. <laughs> so took me way longer than it should have, but uh, uh, part of the experience, going somewhere you've never been before. Oh, there's the hotel. Language barriers, people looking at the dumb American trying to figure out <laughs> what, why they're, why this 260-pound American's in their university grocery store. Uh, so, uh, yeah. All right, just returned from the grocery store. Um, watching the video. If you uh, don't know how to get to the video, you guys can go to manofsteel.com. And then within Man of Steel on the top here, there's a little link down here. Click here link. It's going to bring you to the streaming video. And here it has, it has a link to this thing called live stream, which is what they're using. You can watch any of the prior sessions. When these numbers here are all in kilos, so when you're looking at this. So right now what's going on is the it's 130 93 kilo session. So it'll bring up a video, an incredible video, high quality. And this is we'll go on live. If you wanted to go to the past sessions and watch some of the video, the links are still out there. Uh, the video is great. And then you could make this big. It'll pop up into another screen to watch it full size, full screen. I mean, look at the quality on this. And this is the quality of my camera is taking the quality out of this. Venture, yeah. From Germany. Even though he has a not sounding name. Oh, that was an extra slow slot. I'm getting the hourglass, and that's because of the connection here at the hotel. I, I don't think you're going to get that when you're... I did not get that at home. Uh, the next, the other thing, if you want to figure out what the scoring is, this doesn't show the scoring on it. Let me turn this down so it's not craziness. So, if you want to get the scoring, um, let me see, what's the, uh, um, let's see. Huh, why am I not thinking of the, not thinking of the right link here. Uh, well, you could go, always go to the IPF site, so I could remember the name of it. So that's the live streaming on the IPF site is up here on the on the right. And I'm really trying to think of the. I'll, I could get there through here. I know I could get here. So you, the rankings here, but this is not the easiest way. Sorry, guys. Um, like you click any name here, and it goes to Good Lift. Good Lift is the site. Good Lift, and click Live under good lift and then click on join the streaming now 
and this will bring up the video stream on the left and the and the scoring on the right. I think I'm going to change the link on my website to this because this is pretty good. Red is no lift, and uh, and green is a good lift. And you can watch the video over here. And there's actually chats going on on the bottom here. So pretty cool. Uh, I see Charlie Connor is currently in second with a 330. Uh, from and he, this is the second flight of squatters at the at 93 kilo. So Charlie's done right now, and now the the uh, B flight is going. So Charlie will likely get passed, but being in the, the secondary flight is uh, a difficult point to lift from because every all the lifts are done in your squat before the a, B flight comes out. All right, my battery's running low, but let me show you quickly. The one thing I want to show you: this is the bed <laughs> we got here in Stavanger. So it's a little small, but very comfortable. One thing they provided us is a uh, each lifter gets their own pass and a lovely picture and a barcode. To get in the back room, you're only allowed to go back in the back room when it's during your session. They actually have a scanner there, it scans it and tells the person on the security whether you're allowed back or not. So that's pretty neat. I've never seen that before. Incredible. Not incredible, but just some level of detail that you don't normally see. So that's why I got the grocery store. Got some oranges. Got some local bread, um, some snacky food, apricots, um, grapes. The grocery store actually charged me extra for the bag, I think. Got some local, what looks to be local Gatorade, Norwegian Gatorade, uh, bananas, um, and some cheese and some meat for... The, uh, I'd like to say it's Amer it looks like American cheese, <laughs> but obviously we're in Norway, so it's Norwegian cheese. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And some salami and some yogurt. And I do have a fridge in here. So, got some basics um, beyond the MREs, more Gatorade, and obviously some water. Got some water too. So, that's what I get. Kind of keep me going. Uh, some healthy stuff, low sodium stuff. Some of the stuff has sodium in it, but. Otherwise, keep my sodium down so that I don't hold too much water if I need to lose any weight. So it's always uh, I always try to get right on the weight class.